During challenging periods, many of us turn to spirituality in search of answers to seemingly unattainable goals. According to Goddard, the power lies within us, and we are all part of the same consciousness. However, our minds often impose limitations on our ability to manifest our desires. Join us today as we delve into the role of the mind in conscious manifestation. How can we liberate ourselves from its constraints? Conscious manifestation has become a prevalent subject among those seeking spiritual growth, particularly individuals facing challenging circumstances. Goddard's teachings have gained significant attention in this realm, whether it's pursuing a seemingly unattainable job, seeking an elusive lover, or aspiring to a life that appears beyond reach. While we often refer to ourselves and the divine as separate entities, we are, in fact, part of the same consciousness that encompasses everything. Some label this consciousness as God, the universe, or source. Regardless of the terminology, this consciousness animates the reality we perceive through our human senses. As conscious beings, we serve as the animators of our reality. We are consciousness experiencing itself, not in isolation, but as one. By this, we mean the divine entity within us, transcending the confines of a physical body or a personality laden with fears that we may identify with. Despite recognizing or understanding the concept of our inner power, it's common to cling to long-held beliefs. The illusions of separation and scarcity continue to significantly influence our perception of the world. Our interpretation of inner power is often filtered through these illusions. We move from unawareness of our power to viewing it as a conditional achievement, something we must tirelessly strive to fulfill. Doubts, denials, reactions, and shifts from belief to loss of faith may occur. Yet, through all of this, we remain conscious. I express this with utmost compassion because relinquishing these illusions can be a formidable task, considering the decades during which we've held these beliefs. Therefore, I invite everyone to scrutinize the human mind through the lens of the Law of Assumption and Neville's teachings. The resulting despair often propels us to seek answers in spirituality. According to Goddard, the power is within us, we are divine beings, and the power resides within us. While we commonly distinguish ourselves and the divine as separate entities, we are all part of the same consciousness that encompasses everything. Some refer to this consciousness as God, the universe, or source. Regardless of the label, this consciousness animates the reality we perceive through our human senses. As conscious beings, we serve as the animators of our reality. We are consciousness experiencing itself, not in separation, but as one. By this, we mean the divine entity within us, not a physical body, personality, hobbies, or fears with which we may identify. It's perfectly understandable that even after recognizing or comprehending the concept of our inner power, we tend to adhere to the established beliefs we've held for so long. The illusions of separation and scarcity still wield significant influence on how we perceive the world around us. We often interpret our inner power through the lenses of these illusions. We transition from being unaware of our power to viewing it as a conditional achievement that we must work hard to attain. We doubt, deny, react, and sometimes shift from belief to losing faith altogether. However, throughout all of this, we remain conscious. I express this with the utmost compassion because letting go of all these illusions may seem challenging. After all, We've held these beliefs for decades. Therefore, 
I want to invite everyone to examine the human mind in the light of the law of assumption and Neville's teachings. Some may argue that it is through our minds that we observe our divinity. But this is a misconception. Neville states that the mind is the domain of perception, but it is not divine. It is the home of our senses and how we process them. The power within us goes far beyond that. It is not the mind. It is not in its state of need. By what you mean, you have not clearly understood the concept of conscious manifestation. According to the universe, it is a unity that encompasses everything we can imagine. So everything is a part of us, just as we are a part of the universe. Repeating this several times to emphasize the importance of recognizing that what we think or feel is by no means an obstacle to obtaining what we want. This is not an encouragement to condemn the mind, to never think thoughts again. It is intended to serve as an assurance that all doubts, fears, and questions it creates have nothing to do with whether you will attain what you desire. It has nothing to do with the waiting time for your desires. Your negative thoughts will not repel anything. I want to emphasize the role of the mind in conscious manifestation. The mind plays a crucial role in the manifestation process, and the divine serves as a device for us to recognize what we want to project into our realities. And that is something beautiful. Yes, our minds could never lovingly feel our achievements or even our pain. However, this is the scope within which your mind can process the divine. We are not the mind nor the supposed duality it insists upon. When we recognize that we are beyond the limitations we've imposed on ourselves, the things we see no longer disturb us because we are aware that they serve a higher purpose. When we perceive something that seems to be going completely against us, or when we perceive a lack, we're once again trying to rationalize our perceptions. The divine does not do this. The divine already encompasses what we truly desire in this life, our hopes and desires. So any circumstance is completely irrelevant because our higher selves view it as nothing more than a small obstacle in the way. Assume that when you're driving, the car sways a bit. You don't immediately assume that you won't get where you're going. That's exactly how your higher selves view all seemingly opposing outcomes or lack of movement. We may feel the pain of what we see. We may let our fears and doubts arise because it allows us to savor the apparent good. We cannot observe love without observing pain. We cannot observe or have something without observing the lack of it. However, all these observations are occurring in the mind. As we've established earlier, our true power goes beyond this. As humans, we often experience moments of wavering faith and doubt, especially when things seem to be going wrong. It is in these moments that we must be still and remember that the pain we feel is not a punishment from a higher power or the result of luck, but rather an integral part of the journey we're on. It's crucial to recognize that the divine has already accepted everything we want, and it's only a matter of time before we receive it. This gift is being made for us and us alone. Nothing in this world can take it away from us. Sometimes we may feel like our minds are working against us, sabotaging our desires. However, this is far from the truth because our native thoughts are not ruining our manifestations as they already exist within the divine and where the divine exists within us. Therefore, we can never lose what is already within us. We are everything that is, everything that will ever be. Remembering this fact is the key to unlocking our true potential and achieving all our desires. When we remember that our desires are always unfolding, 
we observe how things wonderfully begin to fall into place for us. This realization helps us have faith in the journey we're on, no matter how challenging it may appear. After all, the universe has a way of bringing exactly what we need at the right time, and we must trust that it's always working in our favor, even when we face seemingly solid circumstances that seem to be blocking our path. We must stand firm in our faith and trust that everything will work out for the best. It's important to be patient, to trust in the universe's timing. Our desires may not come to us as quickly as we'd like, but they will come when the right moment arrives. As we continue on our journey toward our desires, it's essential to understand that we may face obstacles and challenges. These challenges are not meant to deter us from our path, but rather to test our faith and determination. In these moments, it is crucial to remind ourselves of the power within us. We have the ability to overcome any obstacle that appears in our way, and we must trust in our abilities and inner strength. When facing challenges, it's easy to lose sight of our goals and become consumed by fear and doubt. However, we must remember that fear and doubt are merely illusions we create in our minds. It's important to focus on the present moment and remain optimistic about the future. Our thoughts have a powerful impact on our reality, and by focusing on positivity and abundance, we attract more of the same into our lives. Additionally, we should learn to let go of any attachment to our desires. While it's important to have clear intentions and goals, we must understand that attachment to specific outcomes can hinder our manifestation process. When we release our attachments, we allow the universe to work its magic and bring us what we truly need. This doesn't mean we should give up on our desires, but rather trust that the universe will deliver in the best way possible. As we continue on our journey, we should also remember to express gratitude for all that we have. Gratitude is a powerful tool that helps shift our focus from what we lack to what we already possess. By expressing gratitude for our blessings, we attract more abundance into our lives and open ourselves to new opportunities and experiences. Moments of wavering faith and doubt are an integral part of our journey. We should stay still and remember that our pain is not a punishment, but rather a gift from the divine. Our desires are already unfolding, and nothing can take them away from us today. Trusting in the universe and being patient are the keys to unlocking our true potential and achieving all our desires. I hope I have provided a thorough analysis of Neville Goddard's idea. Of course, this doesn't mean we agree with everything he said or believed because ultimately, everyone forms their own opinion. That's why we're examining and discussing his ideas and methods to fully understand his approach. In general, since he was a great teacher who inspired millions of people around the world, if you'd like to share your opinion, please comment below this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. Press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos about manifestation. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.